In this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at how to transform this image into this image. So let's get into it. All right, so here we are in Lightroom, and the first image you were looking at is my ambient layer. And really quick, what I'm going to do is because I was on my Olympus 9 to 18 millimeter, I'm shooting on Micro Four Thirds with that Olympus EM1 Mark II. I'm going to change my profile up here from Adobe Color to Adobe Standard. That takes the contrast down, it reduces the saturation, it's just trying to get it as flat as we can. And I may want to just bump up those shadows a little bit. I'm not going to be too con concerned about the white balance and everything because so when we take the ambient layer, yes, you want to, I just leave my camera on auto white balance because remember when we go into Photoshop, we're going to use that luminosity blending mode, which is going to give us just the luminance of the ambient layer and it's going to reveal our correct color underneath that with our flash layers. So let me just show you this. So the next shot is going to be our flash pop above the camera and I'm going to actually you know what I'm gonna do real quick since I didn't have to do too much messing around with my ambient layer I'm gonna bump that exposure up just a little bit I'm just gonna go over here and hit copy and then copy we're gonna copy these settings to everyone and then hit paste and then I'll brighten that up a little bit might have to do some other tweaking like that that looks good to me I'm gonna recopy those settings so we don't have to keep going back over it this is the flash pop to the left of the camera because so you can see me in this mirror here I'm like just out of frame a little piece of my elbow is showing right there but I'm trying to light this side of the room so if we paste these settings in we got a nice even exposure on this side and then I move over to this side to light this side of course and when we paste our settings in makes it nice and bright over here and then I walked into this room I went around the corner and popped a flash on the ceiling to light this let's bring up this exposure in that room so I'm just focusing on just this room maybe bring those highlights down a little bit so we can still see out the window there and that looks good to me let's select all these two star images and edit in open as layers in Photoshop all right so once all your layers have been loaded into Photoshop let's make sure the top one is selected come down here to the bottom one hold down uh, shift and click on that that's gonna select them all let's come up here to edit auto align layers and then hit OK make sure auto is selected and yes, you can make this as a custom action, which I recommend you do. So you can do this just quickly by just hitting an F, you know, keyboard shortcut. All right. And it did align. Sometimes I maybe bump the tripod moving around the camera. Or something. It's just good to do a complete auto align like that. All right. So the first thing we want to do is get our two composites, our left and right flash pops blended into one image. So I'm going to toggle off my ambient layer toggle off the flash pop above the camera layer and then we're going to use these two images and create one image so I'm going to select the top one create a layer mask command I to invert it hit my gradient tool now instead of just sitting here with a brush tool and painting myself out I'm going to use the gradient tool make sure white is selected somewhere in front of the hot spot of this image click and drag and pull that's it so if we toggle that on and off that did a good job so now what we can do is you know what I'm not gonna even worry well let's let's turn on the flash pop above the camera let's see what lighten mode does let's do that and if we toggle that on and off let's see what is it doing it's not bad I'm gonna bring the opacity down to about 50 percent and that looks good now we got some funky shadows here but we're gonna fix that with the ambient layer which I'll show you how to do that in a second so now we got to bring up we got to light this room now and all we're gonna do is bring that layer up to the top just underneath the ambient layer and turn that to lighten mode so if we toggle that on and off that's like turning the switch on so I'm not gonna worry about anything else we're gonna turn on our ambient layer I like this what we're gonna do now is we're gonna turn this to luminosity or no yeah luminosity mode and that did a really good job but we're going to we only want parts of this image so we are going to do a layer mask command I to invert take our brush tool now I'm gonna use my right bracket on my keyboard making my brush bigger and we're gonna paint back in ambient now where only where we need it 
And so this is a nice thing about having a nice even flash layer is we don't have to be super precise. But we're going to get rid of some of those shadows that are not supposed to be there. And we're going to get rid of that layer. And just look at that light. Just boom, looks so good. And because we're not doing, um, my flow is at 5%, we can lightly brush in to make this look natural. Because that's the key. We want it to look how the potential buyer is going to see the house. If we're dolling these up too much, it could be deceiving, but this is the nice thing about using flash, using that luminosity mode as we get correct color on that back wall. And I'll show you before and after when we move this into, uh, into Lightroom. So that looks good to me. It looks blended good enough to me. Maybe the ceiling up here a little bit more. I mean, you can kind of play with this to your heart's content. Maybe around these windows, brighten those up just a little bit. Maybe the wall back here. Because we had nice natural light. All right, there we go. Let's right click. Come here to flatten image. Command S to save it. And we're back into Lightroom. So here's our TIFF file from Photoshop. And I'm going to do my interior final bump two. And all I did was create some presets, bring those highlights down a little bit, adjust the shadows, drop the blacks. So if you want a trick about how to adjust the, the blacks, hold down option on your keyboard if you're a Mac user and slide that slider. You can see where your blacks are start, starting to clip. Now right under here is completely clipped, but I don't care because it's not, you know, it's not a major part of the image. And make sure your exposure is right of center. So if we do a before and after, look at that. This was what we started with. Look at the difference in wall color. Without using luminosity mode, we wouldn't be able to pull, we would still have that yellowy color coming through. But now we don't. We have a nice clean image. And the true wall color shows up. This is not the best example, but it does do it justice and showing like how certain tungsten lighting will change the color of a wall. And now we have a nice, super clean image that looks like this. All right. So make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Leave me a comment if you have any questions and hit that subscribe button, guys. We have a tutorials coming out all the time. Thanks for watching.